Americans enjoy traveling abroad, but an unexpected health issue can quickly turn a dream vacation into a really expensive nightmare. So we found out from Consumer Reports how to avoid big medical bills while you're traveling internationally. Sandra Gutierrez faced a health emergency while attending a destination wedding on a Greek island. When I got to the hospital, I realized it was it was going to be bigger than what I initially thought. She was diagnosed with leukemia and stayed in the hospital for weeks. I didn't factor in like cancer treatment in another country. Um, I didn't actually even know what my work insurance covered. A 2022 survey found that nearly one in four Americans have faced health issues while traveling abroad. All right, what's your name? It can be difficult to get quick help from your health insurance back home, and your policy might not even cover you abroad. Most U.S. insurers, including Medicare, offer little or no medical coverage outside of the country which can lead to hefty medical bills if you need care. To protect yourself, consider a travel medical insurance policy. These plans can cost less than $100 per trip, depending on the provider and what's covered. Just make sure to shop around. Websites like InsureMyTrip and SquareMouth make it easy to compare different policies. Pick a provider with strong ratings with the Better Business Bureau and AM Best, a credit rating agency for insurance companies. Before buying, check the policy for exclusions, deductibles, and coverage limits, and verify that the policy covers your pre-existing conditions and prescriptions. It's also a good idea to have a policy that covers medical evacuation, especially if you're heading to remote areas with limited access to major hospitals. Sandra wanted to return to the United States right away after her diagnosis, but she says a medical transport from Greece would have cost her thousands of dollars out of pocket. Now she has this advice for travelers. If you want the peace of mind and if you can't afford the insurance, get it. It will save you in the long run. So now that you have insurance in place, don't forget to check your passport's expiration date. You know, a lot of countries require it to be valid for at least six months past the date of your trip. Regular processing takes six to eight weeks by mail. Keep that in mind. And you can speed it up, but it's going to cost you more. If you need to travel abroad within 14 days, you're going to want to make sure you book an in-person appointment.